another plant that is really revered in the Alps is juniper. And there's these sort of low scrubby junipers that grow kind of prostrate um, throughout, um, especially above the tree line. And they're loaded with juniper berries every fall. And um, old timers and especially moms and grandmothers will take the juniper branches and the houses are built with stucco around them. So there's all these little cracks that'll form in the stucco. And the idea is you take the juniper branches and you sweep around those cracks and it sweeps out any evil spirits that are trying to get into your house through the cracks. And then you take long juniper boughs with all of their needles on them and you hang them above the lintel of the doorway, above the entrance of the doorway. And before an evil spirit can get into your house, they have to stop and count every single needle. And so that keeps them from coming in because the sun will rise and they won't be able to make it. But the story goes um, of another young farmer, you know, looking for help. He was going out looking for wood. Um, again, it's late fall and um, he was trying to build a fire and get a wood stash going because his horses in his barn were um, really not doing too well. They'd been sick all summer. They hadn't had quite enough food and he really needed a bunch of wood to be able to keep them alive through the winter. Um, up in the high Alps, people live with their animals in these big houses um, where there's sort of a hayloft and the animals and then the sleeping quarters of the humans right next door and they share the wood fire and they share their warmth to stay happy during the winter season. And so he's going around looking for firewood and having a hard time and again, you know, out from behind a tree pops this little man with a fur trimmed cape and a little red hood and he says, what you doing? And the guy says, well, I'm looking for firewood because I got to keep my horses alive this winter and things aren't looking too good for me. They're very scrawny and undernourished. And the Silvano says, oh, scrawny and undernourished. Are they not eating? Have they lost their appetite? And he says, yeah, I mean, I tried to give them good hay and I brought them up to the like best pastures above the tree line, but they just didn't gain weight this year. And the Silvano said, well, I'll tell you a secret. This is all you have to do. Gather 72 juniper berries and put them in a handful of salt, grind them up with the salt, and once a week, feed that to your horses. And you'll find that they'll restore their appetite and will restore their health too. So the guy didn't have to be told twice. Um, he immediately went out and as he was gathering wood, started pocketing a bunch of juniper berries. And over the next four, five, six weeks, as the air got colder and the snow began to fall, he fed it to their horses. And they regained their health and they regained their appetite and they started eating the hay and, um, that was stashed in the barn. And, and by the spring, they actually looked better than they had at the end of the fall, which is really the opposite. Normally in the spring after winter, the horses look really scrawny. And so when he brought his horses back down to the bottom of the valley in town, everyone was like, holy cow, what did you do? And he told them the story of the Silvano and the juniper berries. And ever since, juniper is added a little bit um, into some salt and into the salt licks of horses and cows too up in the Alps as a way to really encourage um, healthy appetite and good lustrous coats and great metabolism for the livestock that the farmers keep. But it turns out that juniper is good for us as well, um, for all of those reasons. It's a great aromatic and digestive. Um, you know, it's one of the key ingredients in gin, sort of stimulates digestive function with its warm pungency. Um, but it also contains um, constituents that seem to help with our ability to absorb carbohydrates and also balance and maintain healthy blood sugar levels. So there might have been something to the Silvano story. We certainly shouldn't eat 72 berries once a week, but eating seven to nine once or twice a day can be a great way to sort of stimulate digestive function, um, especially for people who are feeling sort of dyspeptic and occasionally bloated um, and having difficulty with good absorption and nutrition and, and just not a happy relationship with their food. So think about juniper for those reasons.